welcome to Alien Theorist Theorizing. I'm Braden. I'm Zell. I'm Dan. And I'm Andrew. And we're back again. Look at us here. Uh, Andrew, nice quick turnaround from uh, Edmonton. Um, Not great really. Time. I was fucking yeah. nice two and a half hour delay, there. stuck on the fucking tarmac, de in the fucking wings or whatever. Always de in the wings. Oh, so we have to awful. attention passengers. Uh, we'll be waiting for the de icing machine, uh, and they, this never comes. I almost had my for hours. I almost had my Larry David moment too, because we're fucking right by the, the flight attendants or the stewardess, or I don't know what the PC word is, but. We sat there for two hours waiting, you know, and then fucking they're like, all right, door closes. I'm like, fucking let's go. And then the lady goes like, steps up, grabs the seatbelt and starts doing this fucking thing. And I'm like, we just had two and a half hours. You couldn't have fucking knocked us out of the park while we were waiting. <laughs> like, what do you mean? So we had to sit there for an extra 20 minutes. So I asked her, I was like, you couldn't have just, you know, you could have played demo. The, you couldn't at least play the French version while we were fucking sitting here. Yeah, it's like it up a little bit. I thought they were going to ask us to leave, but I was like, no, it's all good. I'll take my pretzels and shut the fuck up. I, for the first time since <clears throat> the, the infamous, um, where I started COVID, I melted, mm. I poo, I poo, I, 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 uh, yeah. I bought Canucks tickets, got them on, got such a good deal. 60 buck a ticket. Uh, my seats could not be worse. It's literally the worst seats in GM place. That's why they're so cheap. Top of the top. Uh, Win- Winnipeg Jets. You, could, I literally could not be higher. I think they. When I get up there, they put Fall Pro on me. <laughs> it's me so in. steep. It's so steep. I, 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 you just hang standing off the edge. Serious question. Hey, you know what? Serious. That's where the that's where the real fans are, though. Like yeah. Top. Serious question. Yeah. You gonna roll a dice again? Get some popcorn or what? Oh, buddy, without a doubt. I got a hotel across the street this time, buddy. Right? I'm prepared. I'm not going to have to do the whole buddy, fucking hour, 20 minute sky train listen, like, after you, when I need the I don't emergency think you, release. I don't think you should because you're going to be shitting near the sky train and then your child's going to get delivered too because it's your kid. He's going to have to evacuate too. <laughs> Both you got, right? Like, I'm, you I, I'm not carrying. Oh, you oh, were you sharing with your wife? Popcorn? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You guys are both going to be. Uh, it's not going to be a good scene, man. A little preemie? Yeah. <laughs> From the popcorn? Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm on the street. Damn you, Rogers Arena. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fake buttered powder that they put on that popcorn. Yeah, I'm excited. Though. I haven't been there forever, but we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, it'll be. Haven't been in two years. That'd be fun. Anyways, what are we talking about tonight? I don't even remember. We never even made made a plan. Make a plan. Murder month is over. Good old alien objection. Dan, is that you? This is me. (laughs) Dan, 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 I have returned. Or Um, or did he go anywhere? Yeah, I didn't go anywhere ever. I need some ass for that. Jesus. Yeah the um, the amount of people for the last. Three it, weeks. Three weeks. Yep. Um, does it does it offend you at all that people could not figure out that it was just a loop of you not talking? No. Are you like, <laughs> hey, you're like, hey, listen. Normally, I'm doing eighty percent, and you couldn't figure out that they're using a, a twelve minute loop of me not talking looped continuously you make literally the same face expression the entire time uh and it fool it duped a lot of people people got upset yeah <laughs> now hold on should you explain it though because there's a few people who listen to this and don't watch it they might not know what the fuck you're talking about so right now. if it's you're true. watching the live streams or you go to our youtube and you watch the live streams after um while we've been recording live and stuff I have had a loop of Dan and a couple hot keys of Dan's reactions that I could call uh, to cue when we, we call him. Um, so it appears that Dan is just sitting there um, in a foul mood. I made sure to, in a bad mood. Yeah, I made sure to get a clip of uh, the best highlight of Dan in the, the least impressed mood and cut that clip short. And then I just loop it for as ever long as I need to and hotkey <laughs> some reactions when we call to him. And people legit thought that Dan was just n- not participating in the show. And I thought for sure instantly people would be like, ah, oh, that's, that's a loop. But it wasn't right away. People were like, 
this is bullshit. Dan needs to grow the fuck up and start participating. And I was like, that was not the reaction that I was expecting. We should probably lean into this even more. So the, the next two case files, I just was like, even more loops of Dan, even more reactions. And then that one, people were like, this is getting real. I'm getting real tired of Dan. And his shitty attitude. Shitty attitude. And I was tired. like, bullshit. I was like, that's even more funny. So then last week, I really hammed it up. And I was like, if they don't know by now, if they don't know this time, like that, then it's really funny. But so Dan, uh, Dan was away on uh, biz- business. <laughs> Yeah. Trip. yeah, when you told me you were going to do that, I 100% anticipated this is exactly what was going to happen. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is going to, it's going to be real bad. And then it's going to be, people are not going to figure out, they're going to say a lot of mean things. And then their brain's going to be like, this is great. Let's keep doing this even more. Hilarious. Uh, let's push, the, let's so push this way farther past the point of being funny. <laughs> yeah. To make it even oh, funnier. Yeah. To make it even funnier. It goes yeah. from funny yeah. to hilarious. You have to push past the limit, keep... past the pain. Yeah, you, and then, yeah, you, know, you keep going. That's my whole life is pushing past the pain. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, Just like on Sky Train. I loved it. I was yeah. genius. Anyways, tonight's case file is Alien Abduction, the Carl Higdon encounter tale. <laughs> UFO. AKA my trip with Ozo One. Yeah, <laughs> Ozo, <right>. Ozo One. <laughs> my adventure with Ozo One. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> bringing it back. Mur- murder month is over. We had a good yeah. time. Now we're bringing it back to the roots. A little yeah. alien abduction. And this is a this is a really interesting case file because there's a lot of there's a lot of tangible evidence and like you know naysayers to this are are basically just being like, this is ridiculous. There's That's a lot of tangible argument. evidence. <laughs> what? Yeah. And, yeah, like, Andrew, really? Andrew like, t- tangible evidence. You don't, like, yeah, really? you don't like the evidence? Is there any? Yes. Okay. There's this, po- there's this podcast <laughs> okay. talking about it. Yeah. Son of a bitch. I read the wrong, I was studying the wrong thing, I think. Me. <laughs> We're going to get to one piece of evidence that is, there's no way it couldn't be anything other than alien abduction. Has to be. <laughs> We're going to get there. Uh, yeah, so uh, the events of this specific event took place on October 25th, 1974, and they involved one, at the time, 41-year-old Carl Higdon. Carl! Uh, <laughs> Carl! Yeah, Carl! Ka. Hey, Ka. Ka. So Carl Higdon oh. was a... Uh, Ka. A foreman with the AM Wells service company in Riverton. Uh, and this is, um, <laughs> he's a rigger. I guess it's for in yeah. layman's terms. Like for nowadays, you're, he's a rigger. Where's Riverton? Canada. He would have been out in the tar sands. It's fucking roughneck. Where's Wyoming? Fucking all of the above. Sure. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, so. <laughs> Wyoming. Well, there, uh, there's also Riverton, Manitoba. Hmm. Oh, Ooh. Both places at the same first. time. This, this, is in, first. this is in Wyoming. This is Wyoming. <laughs> Without a doubt. So stop bringing Manitoba into it. So uh, on this on this day, uh, before going into work, uh, Carl actually got a, a call from one of his employees and one of his team members and, or one of his crew members and told him that he was sick and this uh, was sick with the flu. And this specific crew member was one that was going to be like key into the, the stuff that they had to do that day. So yeah, bullshit. Uh, Car- Carl operated on the one all for one, one for all. He's like, you're sick. We're all sick, baby. Hunting day. <laughs> oh, this guy's key. His fucking car is the boss, so he just he can't just watch himself work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's like fuck. That's a good point. Um, yeah, so so Carl, go ahead and, and call the day off, figuring that they wouldn't be able to get a lot done that day. Um, so uh, in you know deciding to take off of work, what he actually decided to do something a little bit productive with his day. And since I guess uh, Hold at on. the time not, for for one second here, we're not talking about the real hero of the story, and it's whoever the fuck like worked for Carl that has enough like trust in him that when he calls in sick, the whole crew gets the day off. Like when I used to work for my dad, we had this guy, Trevor. And if Trevor was sick, none of us worked. Like there was like me, <laughs> my brother, all and my work. dad. <laughs> and if like Trevor called in sick, my dad was like, I we can't day. do it without we're Trevor. Taking, we're taking the day off. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. 
Or if you wanna watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.